uh, I do want to show you, um, you know, the the kinds of functionality that you have with the uh, the same type of pinch and zoom uh, that's available on the iPhone, but it's really one better. So if we if we go to um, just showing you my visual bookmarks, which is really nice. You can visually save or have a visual representation of the website that you navigate to instead of doing a text bookmark. So this is MSNBC. And, um, you know, obviously it's not the whole page. I know that there's, there's more information and, and I can scroll around, but there is an accelerometer in the browser. So um, if I turn the phone on its side, it, it pulls up the screen landscape. And these are my uh, my headlines on MSNBC, but um, let's say I want to say look at a, um, you know, uh, a, uh, here, let's look at the world's strongest man at 104, dies after he's hit by a car. Where's the irony in that? So, uh, you know, let's say I want to read this article and it's kind of small. Uh, if I just take my fingers, I put them both on there and pull apart, it zooms in. And one of the nice things about the hero is you'll also notice that the text, uh, not only did it zoom in, but it wraps to the screen. So, which is nice because I don't have to scroll all the way to the right to get what's on the right hand side of the screen. I can simply pinch and zoom and it wraps to the size of the screen. So it's a really, really nice feature. It makes navigating the internet on this device very simple, very easy on the eyes. Uh, to to read through and um, you know read about the strongest man in the world.